The word in Arabic for heart is qalb. That's one of the words. The Arabs have a lot of words for heart. One of the words is qalb. Now if you take that and switch the letters around, you get qabila. And there's a science of the meanings of the words when you switch the letters around. Like you have a word like ilm, which means action. If you switch the letters around, you get amal, which knowledge, and then you get amal, action. Because knowledge and action are related. And qalb and, qab and qabila are related also. And qalb and qabla before are also related. Because the heart knows something that it knew before it came into this realm. You see, the heart knows, Alastu bi Rabbikum, the heart knows the answer to that question. Bala shahidna. Indeed, we testify to that truth. So every human heart that came into the world knew this truth, this spiritual truth. And then the human being is tasked in his life to once again testify during his life on earth. Because he tarries on the earth for a period of time. And he has to testify sidqan min qalbihi in truth from his heart that once again he has to testify just as he testified in the primordial world with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has to testify in this world before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his unseen manifestation because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is manifesting himself in creation from an unseen realm before we were in a realm in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was vahir and now he's batin See, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has hidden himself from us by manifesting his attributes in creation. And it is the human heart that has to recognize this. And this is why the heart is the organ of cognition. It's not the brain. You see, the, uh, the, the non-Muslims would like to say that you think in your brain. This is what they would like to say. But you have to ask the question, why is it that, uh, and people who study martial arts know this, that if you cut off the carotid artery, for a short period of time, people lose consciousness. They lose consciousness. Why? Because you cut off the source of consciousness, which is the heart. Without the heart, there is no consciousness. And it's blood, in fact, the blood which is carrying all the glucose and the oxygen, 60% of which is being utilized by the human brain. And it's the heart that's sending it there. So it is the heart that is the source of human consciousness. And now we're only beginning to study things like the atrial peptide. This, this is a hormone now. They didn't even know it existed before. And now they're seeing that the heart is telling the brain things. It's telling the brain what to do. This is very recent uh, research in, uh, in cardiology. You see, they didn't know that before. So how much don't they know? They don't even know how aspirin works. They don't. You ask a doctor, ask your doctor, how does aspirin work? We haven't worked that out yet. It's the most prescribed drug. And he said, we, we don't really know how that works. 